Hello everybody. I just thought I'd pop on to give um show you a little process video. I used to um make these as earrings years ago and I've got loads of these beads left. I've got because I remember buying bracelets with them on. They're not it says nine two five but they're not silver. <laughs> so I've got a few I've got a few of them left and I thought these would look, make nice dangles. Okay. So and I've also used to sit and make them with my daughter out of polymer clay. And that's just, you know, the round ball and then push two eyelets in. That's all that is. So I've got quite a few of those left. I couldn't find all my bracelets. This is the only ones I could find for now. But they've got big holes, so they might work. They're quite sparkly as well. So I've got loads of those. I remember sitting making them. Oh, and these glass... I think these are called um, Foley something. Oh gosh, that's awful. I think um, originated from Italy, but then of course the Chinese got hold of them. But they, they're glass beads and they've got little flowers inside. You can see, they're beautiful actually. Excuse my nails. There we go. So they're really lovely, really pretty. You can pick them up quite cheaply. Another one. Oh, sorry. There we go. Oh, my nails. That's terrible. Sorry, I've been tea staining this morning and my nails don't grow because I've got an un underactive thyroid and they just break off and they all split. and Oh, it's just horrible. But I must start putting some hand cream on my hands, I think, because it's all, I'm getting all chaps now as well. So never mind. If you don't like bad hands, please don't watch this video because I've tried false nails. I can't work in them and I just... But I just can't bear to sit there and have them done anyway, so I have to excuse me. Sorry. Anyway, so I thought we'd get on with this and we do these. Right, that's gonna measure. Sorry. Measure the width. Cause because this these bees are usually quite standard when you buy them. And these they're quite tight, this fit. Um oh gosh. Alright, let's have a look. That's nine mil. So 10 mil jump rings would be most probably a little bit better. Okay, because you need them to, to go through that bit there. Okay, that's the nine mil ones. All right, and then I'll drop down in size, whatever you've got really for the rest, so it doesn't matter. Okay, but you need at least that. Some fit better than others. Some's a little bit smug, I noticed. All right. And somebody asked what make of these I use. These are the best I've ever owned, I will say. And they've got Dazzle, Dazzle It on it. Right, hold on a minute, so I can show you. There we go. They are very, very springy, okay? These are the cheaper makes. I just like, I never had a pair of these that because I had about four pairs of these but that's about my best pair of that and that's that's the cheap one but I quite I like this the length of this it's easier because I've got a pair and it's a bit shorter and I don't like them so that that's okay but th these sprung ones are far better really and it's lovely and those are so um small as well the wire cutters but don't don't um cut heavy wire with them because they'll blunt them Right, they're brilliant. So that's tools I use. And then I sit, usually when my daughter's doing ballet, and I do up all these little beads and little dangles. I just sit there and do them. So I've got them ready, really. Oh, I've got some buttons here, because I'm going to do some. I haven't done them yet. So after I've done this little video, I'm going to have a go at this button thing, because I used to use buttons and jewellery as well. And then I will show you what I've done after I've tried them out. Okay, so I'll get on with these and let's see if we can get on all right. Okay, so all I do is open the jump ring. You have to open it quite a way, right, so it won't fit on. And if you notice, I don't close properly. That's because I can't see, all right? I have to, this is why I get had to give up jewelry making. So for anybody who makes jewelry out there, please this I know <laughs> that's why I don't make it anymore 
All right, so um, because we have um, a jump ring at the top, so you can either put the bigger one or the smaller one up there, it depends. So you usually put one of those on. Yeah, and then I'll shut that. Okay, and just give it a bit of a wiggle to make sure it's shut. And like I have to check these with a big magnifying glass. So I sort of do it blind now. <laughs> I can sort of see, but not but not for closing. I can't really see when it's close together. I know I need to get my eyes tested again. I go every 12 months because my eyes just, once they started, they just went. Right, and then another one on there. These fit quite nicely, so. And then I will put a little one on. Yeah, because that's going to be our dangle. got so many of these beads somewhere though but I can't find them. Let's see. Okay. Must make sure they're shut though because everything falls off if you don't. Right and this is the little one. These are quite thick actually but it'll be right. And then I'll get hold of that. Just open that. Yeah. Put the blue one on, and then shut it towards you. Always open away, and then shut forward. Just get into a bit of a routine with that. I mean, if you want to open it first towards you, and then go always go the same way back. If you know what I mean, don't wiggle two sides. Just one side. Let's say I have to check mine after the magnifying glass there we go so that's that and then I think because they're a bigger embellishment a bigger dangle I quite like the bigger paper clips okay so I'll put them on and then I'll wind little things on the outside again this was Safina Mahu, Mahu started this off that's well that's the person I saw do it so I mean there might have been others before I have no idea but and I thought what a fantastic idea just to twirl them around okay you've got to be quite strong on your wrist for that though just slip down there and get hold of that end And see, all right. I'll do another one anyway and try and get. Don't want to go like that, do we? Let's straighten that up a minute. That's it. Okay, you see, all right, just get hold of it and then just use your wrist and unbend it the whole thing. Never mind, I'm trying to do it away from me. I can't see. there I think well, that was a good start wasn't it <laughs> here we go but I don't worry about it there we go another one there and then I put them on cards I usually dangle them around round by me so I can see them because I like to see them and then because it's on the card there I can give that bit of a bend to straighten it okay so I've got it there so it becomes nice and tight again okay I'll do another one anyway there we go I think they look quite sweet just trying to I, I love dangles and things like that so it was quite nice because I used to make jewelry it's um I actually find it you know, fairly easy. Easier if I could see. <laughs> right, let's do another one. Okay. Yeah, I'll do. I 
one's cracked, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to use that one because it's cracked, okay? Right, let's chuck that one away. Just seen a crack line in that. Yeah, see, it's just cracked. I don't know where that you can see or not. Okay, so chuck that one away. So that will do. Try and put glitter on those ones. <laughs> Last one because I haven't done any of those yet, so hopefully the beads will fit on okay. Yeah, just okay, put the jump ring on and then shut it. Okay. away from you quite far for these put the jump ring on and then if these were on jump rings it would be easy oh that, that one is so here we go be even quicker okay just put that on and then you only have to open it once there like so that down so I can get hold of it. Okay, and twist. Oops. Keeps slipping off because I haven't got hold of it. Okay, I think they look lovely. Yeah, because I'm sort of working towards the boho. It's not my forte, boho or shabby chic, but I'm going to challenge myself in the new year. Okay, so bear with me with that one. <laughs> right, I'll be back in a minute when I've had a little go at the button ones I'm thinking of. Okay. Right, so I'll show you how to do this one. That's what I had... Um, I used to do again years ago and I think things like this are still available people there's people out there still doing them so here we go I don't twirl the edges of the small paper clips because there's just not quite enough and they, they look a bit odd to me so anyway I found one with two holes I haven't got many of these this is one of the shell beads which are really nice which you can get hold of them and I like those because they actually really do look quite vintage which is nice so I shall do that one but I will do a silver because I've got the right right okay I, I don't think you need the big ones on this no you don't if I remember rightly let's have a look oh, seven mil five six seven that's seven mil those ones okay so again same sort of thing open it out Let's have a look. Show you a bit closer. Like that. Quite a, quite a way with these because you have to get in there and then. Oh, they might be a bit thick actually for those holes. I haven't tested these, so let's have a look. No, it needs to be opened just a bit more. See what I mean? If it's not open enough, it won't go on. So 
<clears throat> I think I mumbled then, sorry. Yeah, here we go. All right. Let's focus in. There we go. Right, what's next? Uh, jump ring. Just put one of these on. That's for the top. Okay. And I'm going to shut that now. Okay, so it's closed. All right. And then do that exactly the same on the other side. Just open the jump ring first. A little bit more. Let's get hold of that a minute. What's that? Mm. I'm going to have to think that hole's a little bit smaller. Whoops. <laughs> right. There we go. Actually, I better hold in with the wider ones. I've got more area to hold there. And let's put something on. And jump ring first. Let's have a look. What I'm going to do first is put that little bead on a jump ring, okay? It's easier that way. Yeah, I'll go along and do a load of these and put them on jump rings already. And then when you do something like this, it's goes really quickly okay so that's where he was just get that yeah okay that's the way I had it just so I know that I close it on me I can see that that's a circle there and that one isn't so put it on with the jump ring and then you close I'll just give it a little wiggle. There we go. And that, and then on with a paper clip. The crafty arena. Only knew what she started. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do miss her on YouTube. Right, here we go. That's it. And that's that one. Right, let's see if we can come up with another one. And that's the other one I've done. Okay. There we go. Right, I'll just show you how to do another one with doubling up on this because I thought this would go nice with the brown or the even the cream sort of vintage button there that's quite nice so I use three jump rings okay so this is attached to jump ring this is attached to the jump ring and then we have a spare one and you'll find it dangles a lot better if you do that okay it actually swings a lot better all right, so that's sort of ready to put on the bottom. All right, which is the same procedure, you know, just sort of, but like I say, there's three jump rings on that little group. Okay, all right, let's do this button here. Get a hold with those ones, there we go. quite a thick button this one it's alright once it's on okay and I'll just do the top jump ring which attaches to a paper clip I'll do that first so I can 
can even see that it's no linear. Let's give it a squash with this one. If it can make it look a bit soft, that metal, I think. There you go, just another little wiggle. All right. Not brilliant, but it's okay. That's that, and put the other one on. Not quite open enough. That on with the top jump ring. Like so. And then shut. I'm just going to wiggle it until it's a bit closer because that was miles away. There we go. Okay. There we go. And there you have another dangle. And I would put them on rusted paper clips, but I'll just put one on for now. I would rest these. for any sort of bohemian as well that's quite vintage looking all right and that's those right so i hope you enjoyed that um, hopefully i'll come up with some other different things to do with using up some of my jewelry stash and buttons i'm not joking i've got the biggest tub of buttons that you've ever seen in your life i just i collected them for years but to have, it's right at the back of my, um, underneath my worktop. And I just thought, no, I'll just use these for now. Because I, I can't face getting everything out to get to my buttons. So I thought I'd just do it from this today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And nice to be back doing bits and pieces. And, uh, well, I won't be doing much the weekend. Because as you know, I've said before that my daughter's got a boho, a boho. <laughs> sorry I have boho journals on the brain at the moment because I'm trying to sort out a digi kit and I'm trying to sort of accumulate images and so I go to bed thinking about it and dreaming about it but I sort of I don't know I find it quite hard because it's quite a mix of colors for me um but I'm I'm gonna give it a go so they'll it's just finding a um, one image that might give me inspiration you know and once I find that one image then I progress but until I find that image, then it's just, you know, I just keep looking on the internet and having a look around and, you know, I do things like that. And then, then do silly things like this as well. I've got a little journal on the go as well, just a very small one. So, a little bunny rabbit one. It's with some tags and that. So, I'm just playing around with that at the moment. In between doing a bit of beads and different things. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what where it's gonna go yet. But I sort of grunged it up a bit this one. So let's see what happens. Not not finished yet on the front or anything, but I just thought I would um give you a little peek. Okay, right. Nice to speak to you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.